All right, guys, welcome to another episode. Today is my third and probably my final attempt at catching these common carp on corn. The reason I did it three times in a row is because it's something I really haven't done in many years. It was something different, but right now we've had so much rain this week, four days in a row of low pressure and off and on storms. This is the one of the few places that it didn't change at all. If the water still looks as clear as it did, it is up about a foot compared to what it was. But I'll still be able to catch these fish. As you know, last time I got sent to the hospital, that hook went all the way to my bone and out my front finger. There was no way I was getting it out myself. That day was cutting short. We still didn't manage to catch four. Today I'm by myself because she worked and I didn't. So I got three poles out, 35 pound Berkeley big game with one ounce weights and tandem number six hooks mixed with number two hooks using corn. And I do have red wigglers in case they do prefer those over the corn. It's only 10.30 in the morning right now guys. It's a complete overcast and a high of only 82 degrees. So let's get on these fish. I'm going to sit here in my passenger seat with the poles right in front of me. So if I have to, I can turn on the air conditioner. I can just sit there and relax. I'm hoping I get something today, guys. If I don't do good, I'll probably leave it three or four in the afternoon. But if I'm slaying them, I'll probably stay till dark. You know how that is. Stay tuned. Right, guys, after an hour and a half, Finally got my first fish. He's a real little guy. I'd say he's only about two or half three. It took a long time to get this fish. It's just been slow. Time of the day is part of it. But we also have north winds. Boy, he ain't giving up though. I tell you what, they are some hard fighting fish for their size. Look at this. My God. I guarantee a five pound carp can easily break 10 or 12 pound line. That's how hard these fish fight. They finally wear down, but when they are going, they are going. I mean, really strong for their size. Almost comparable to that of a bullfin, to be honest. All right, got him. He's bigger than I thought, actually. He's about four. All right, I'm gonna get him off. Bad, not a bad start. Beautiful fish. All right, guys, got one. Oh yeah, that's a big one this time. I finally, I might have, I may have my personal best. I may have my personal best. It's a giant. Oh my. <coughs> yes. <clears throat> and maybe not. He's kind of tiring down now. Or not. He's pretty decent. Oh, he's 
got me in a stick. No, he's pretty about like the last one, maybe a little bigger. Oh, I can't get this stick off neither. Ain't no way. I'm just gonna have to deal with it, I guess. Well, that's two fish in about five minutes time. After an hour and a half of nothing, I'm not gonna complain. He may go 10, this one. I think he's bigger than the last one. He's pretty hefty. He's about 10. <sighs> 11 or 12 pounds. Easily 10. But I'm thinking 11 or 12. Not a bad carp, guys. Not bad at all. Big one. Got something wrong with his fins. He's got parasites all over it. It's a really stagnant lake, so that could explain a lot. What a nice carp. picked up a little bit anyway two fish in a matter of 10 minutes five minutes really so I'm not gonna complain <sighs> 